Yo, it's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV, man. We back up in this thing again, you dig? Hey, man, we got some news to report, man. Actually, interview. I end up running across on uh, Ken Yellow on uh, in my clubhouse, Death for the Cloud Chaser. Y'all follow me on Clubhouse, you know, as well as follow the YouTube that you on now. Uh, but basically, you know, we spoke on a few things when it came down to Lil Dirk, Mimo 600, FBG Duck. Um, what's the state of the whole FBG camp? Is he still rocking with him? You know, um, even down to, you know, me more signing the WAC 100. So, you know, this is definitely a current interview. Y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all share this on Facebook and Twitter. Gang. Team hey, Yellow. Hey, bro, like, I'm, let me start by, like, saying, like, welcome to Clubhouse, man. Everybody, y'all follow Team Yellow. You know what I'm saying? He knew the Clubhouse as well as, man, welcome home, bro. Good looking, guy. Shit, man, you free now, bro. Like, I know you've been going crazy on the music and shit. Like, what's to that shit? Like, you 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 going? You signed or you still independent? I'm in, I'm independent. I ain't really thinking about no deal right now. I mean, like distribution and shit, but not no. You feel me? Yeah. So not no motherfucker controlling my life. That's out. No, I got you. And you, like, you know, I don't mean to go straight to it, but, like, um, we got him in the title, man, R.P. FBG Duck. You know, you was incarcerated when he lost his life, man. Like, um, how you feel about that? You know, that fucked me up. That's my little brother. Yeah. Broke my heart, man. You know, that shit hit kind of different, man. You know? No, for sure. Yeah, man. Sorry for your loss, bro. R.P. Duck, King Yellow, this big snow talking. You know, I like you coming home, and it's a whole bunch of shit being said about you. You know, on social media, like, is it different from back then to now? Well, just like what, like, like the, uh, said, like when people say certain things. Like now, when you you say something on Twitter, it, it's probably gonna go viral right away. People gonna. Um, put their own caption on what your caption said uh, like yeah. is it the same way back then as it is now oh uh, you know the whole game done changed man there's a lot of funny shit going on with this shit now like i don't know you know everything man you know they taking everything what a nigga saying and putting an a twist to it you know what i'm saying that's what they doing everybody you know trying to get the clout off shit but in this era, though, you think, like, like, like I know back in the day, it was a lot of blackball, y'all said, that was going on. And um, you you think that you was blackball back then? Well, first off. Hell yeah, we was blackball. Probably still blackball right now. It's just, you know, certain niggas, man. You know, the other side, man. You know, niggas, niggas develop relationships with niggas, man. And, you know, once you develop a relationship with a nigga, you know, it's easy to get, another, get a nigga cut off. You feel me? Don't allow these niggas in that dope, man. You feel me? And that's what niggas was doing with us. About 100. So, like, when they say that, like, you know, King Von, he pretty much used to be around FBG Duck. Like, was you around any old block members? No, I don't know them niggas. I don't know them niggas like that. I mean, I you know, I mostly look more know, like, more OTF niggas and niggas from that side because... I'm from 73rd and 80, you feel me? Dog Pound and Dirk and them, 72nd and Green. Like, we all really from Inglewood, you feel me? Lamron and shit like that, you feel me? O-Block, uh, Duck and all them, they from off King Drive, back back that way, you feel me? That's a little strike down, you feel me? But, yeah. Be sure y'all go check out King Yellow's new video on YouTube. It's called Missing Duck, man. King Yellow, what's good, my brother? You all right? What's up? Hey, that yeah, video I'm go hard. Highly favored, man. Yeah, make sure y'all go watch that Missing Duck. I just dropped another video, too, called I Tweak with me and Duck. Then my mixtape, I dropped it in a while, man. Huh? Yeah, I'm tweaking that go hard right there. I just finished listening to it. Yeah. Then I dropped, I dropped the whole tape, got 13 joints on that bitch. Duck ain't dead. You feel me? Niggas just working, man. I'm trying to stay out the way and get some money, man. 
so them new new recently recorded songs or you, like um well of course they is you know um I forgot that duck you just we just said that um well no I tweak I tweak I tweak I actually recorded that 2018 before I got locked up I just didn't put it out the one I tweak you know, nigga yeah the I tweak that's from I re, we recorded that in 2018 before I went to jail. And uh, most of the song, mo majority of all the songs, it's probably like two, let me see, probably like two, three songs that I already had from like 2018 that I put on there. Then the rest all since I've been out. How you feel about like what's going on with Mama Duck and like with uh, FBG Duck music? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you you want to speak on it? What you mean? Like what the, what the label yeah. doing? <clears throat> huh? Yeah, what the label doing. I fought. I mean, at the end, of, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's like what the labels they don't give a fuck about. They don't give a fuck about us. They just signed Duck because there was money coming. They don't give a they ain't give a fuck about him. So with the situation, what what they gonna do? Hand over the money and make sure you go to his mama? No, ain't no label gonna do that. Nobody gonna do that. That's why it's called royalties. And if you don't own your shit, they gonna take everything. Period. But then, the royalties, you feel me? The masters, you don't own that shit. That's what happened when you sign a record deal. That's why niggas need to sign distribution deals. Well, you own your shit. You own yourself. You don't become no more fucking slave for these people. That's out. What's your current relationship with, like, FBZ? Like, does it, like, a lot of people say that it broke up. Like, does it still exist? And what's your relationship with them? Well, we all gang. Everybody just, everybody, man, growth and development. <laughs> Everybody just doing their own thing. Everybody, you feel me? I'm not. I'm in Las Vegas. You feel me? Billionaire in Arizona. Niggas in certain niggas is in different states. You feel me? Everybody, you know. But it's still all love though. But shit, niggas ain't kids no more. We ain't hanging on the corner no more. So you feel me? That's part of growth. That's anybody. If a nigga, if you just see a a, a crowd of niggas together every day, man, niggas. Obviously gay or something, bro. Man, what the fuck? Niggas got kids, bitches, wives. You feel me? Like, what the fuck? Hell no. Yeah, hell no. So when you dropped that song and you were saying, like, um, you know, people didn't reach. I forgot the exact, you know, lyric, but it was basically like you were saying that, you know, people didn't reach out while you was locked up. Yeah, certain niggas. I mean, you know, certain niggas ain't, you feel me? And it'd be like... <clears throat> Nigga that you respect, the people that you expect to be there, don't be there for you. So, at the end of the day, it ain't it ain't that. I'm straight regardless. I ain't missing uh, nothing while I was gone. But it's just like, damn, you feel me? But you got to, like, I say that, but I understand because some niggas ain't never been in jail and people don't know how it feel to even be, to lose their freedom and, and be, be gone behind the G-Wall like that, so. People don't know, you know, out of sight, out of mind, regardless, no matter what. But you got to be in them situations to really know how to work them situations. You feel me? Did, did you have a relationship with um, Ruger before you was locked up, or do you have a relationship <coughs> with him currently? Yeah, I've been new, I've been new, uh, Ruger for years. I got songs with Ruger 2015, back then. When ain't nobody know who Ruger was. You think that Kanye West turned them up? I think Duck turned them up, but you know, that's just a stepping stone right there too though. No, for sure. But, you know, Duck Duck the reason, that's for sure. Salute, bro. Salute for that one, yellow. Yeah. Kanye Kanye West. Kanye West got on to him after at the duck put him in the limelight. So today, like today, like right now, the climate of music, the way things are going for you, you think that you still blackball? I ain't gonna say that because I, I got a situation going on right now, but I ain't gonna talk about it, but it ain't it's I got some shit. Y'all see, I got some shit with, you feel me, with some people that fuck with most of the folks. So, 
that's coming up in a couple days. Oh, yeah, yeah, but I, I ain't signing no hell no. Nah. Like, we gonna do like, you know, I started my own label, so I'm trying to get like a, a label like partnership. I ain't, I'm cool. My fuck ain't finna. Mm -mm. Feel me? Yeah, when it comes to Lil Dirk brother, you know what I'm saying, RPD thing, I, I noticed that you had posted RP to him, like, um, did y'all have a relationship with him? Like, you had a relationship with him? Oh, yeah, that used to be my boy growing up. We were shorties. You know, half of them are everybody, man. Half of the niggas on half of everybody is related. Everybody grew up with each other. You feel me? But it's like after, like, I said, like, after 2012, after the Chief Keep Lil Dirk era came, that's when everything just started going. Wow, everything just started going the opposite way, you feel me? But other than that, niggas was cool. Niggas wasn't into it. None of that shit. It used to be love, you feel me? But you know, it's politics. And once you're on that other side, you're on that other side. Hey, did, like, you putting That's up right. that RIP post, did, like, that, did you get any backlash from it? From, like, your side, your team? Man, nigga can't say nothing to me. Do what I want to do. They just play on the internet. Niggas know what's up with me in real life. I'm Big G. These niggas love homies. Nigga, I dog wish a nigga would say something to me. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't be knowing nothing, man. They be internet motherfuckers, man. Yeah, man. Half of that shit a nigga see. Oh, listen, man. The world's so fucked up. They make the niggas that soft as hell look like they tough, and the niggas that's tough look like they soft. <laughs> Stop it. That's interesting because Lil Dirk put up that post actually today, something similar to what you just said. And yeah, like he's a lot about of people. He talking about his homies and talking about himself because he ain't never been on shit. You like it's a lot of shit going on on the internet right now. Today after that post, they thinking that he's talking about Mimo six hundred. You think he's talking about him? He probably ain't just talking about Mimo because a lot of them niggas bitches. I say, look, that's what I say. Real life. What are you without a gun? Put the gun down. And what are these niggas? Half of them niggas go to jail, bro. Them niggas wouldn't make it. Them niggas wouldn't make it. You run up on them niggas and catch them niggas in real life. Niggas gonna be scared to death. I ain't gonna protect themselves from a foe. Nothing. Why you think all the killing going on? Chicago, a lot of niggas is cowards, bro. Niggas can't fight nothing. That's why they gotta shoot niggas. Now it's going on everywhere around the whole motherfucking world. New generation. Nigga don't know nothing. Dumb, stupid, ignorant motherfuckers. Hey, speaking, oh, my mom. And, and speaking, thinking speaking, of, speaking, hold on, hold on, bro. Thinking of, like, um, when it comes down to, like, even just stand on uh, Nemo for just a second. He said that he going to sign with WAC 100. Like, what's your opinion on that? They going to sign the WAC 100? Like, with what, though? A record deal or management? Yeah, I don't know. Either or. Man, why can't got no how much why can't got no motherfucking money like that? To be signing a nigga, why why can't even got no label? That nigga he managed niggas. So they don't even know that's probably what they talking about. Sign a nigga. Do management. You know that's blue face manager. I hear he got the plug with cash money, though. Huh? I heard he got the plug with cash money, though. That's what he be doing. Yeah, I don't know. But, I mean, even if you got the plug, that ain't, that ain't, that, they say. Yeah, I think he got sign. something going on with cash money West. Yeah, something like that. That's what I'm saying. They saying that because he blue, that's what I'm telling you, he blue face manager. Who is Blueface signed to? Cash money. Yeah. 
I already did a deal with E1 too, though. With who? E1. Big Reese, salute. Hey, happy new year. Happy new year. 